welcome to episode 59 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. Oh, and look at that. Leeds United sliding down the rankings. That's not good. Especially as we're just about to get to the transfer window. And look at that. Four matches now without a win. Marcelo Bielsa tearing what is left of his hair out. And in the last episode, well, we had a change of formation, a change of tactics, but not much of a change in our luck. There were winnable games there. And the last game, I think it was against Palace. Um, two all in the end. We should have hung on for a win there. We took the lead early. Anyway, transfer window opens in this episode, as I said. So we'll be bringing in Lukasen. And um, I'm very keen to try and bring in Dumbelli as well. And Dumbelli from Lyon. At the moment, we're waiting for a negotiation to come back. It's 9.5 mil, 2 million salary. I'm thinking we sell Pizarro because I think, you know, he's not getting any under. He's 30 years old starting to decline and um, we've had a four mil bid from nice it's not a lot but i think if we sell him and i think we can sell martinez as well for seven uh, to bring in a box-to-box -box midfielder with lucasen coming in he plays that defensive mid but also center back role if necessary i think we can do that now that we don't need three center backs then we'll have yes we will be lacking in a fourth center back option but we will have lucasen who can play there we do only have two centre-backs now, so that's my plan. And then hopefully the scouts bring us back a good keeper. Uh, we've got them out looking there. Uh, maybe a right-back as well. I mean, we've got two, so we probably don't need a right-back. If anything, actually, we do need a left-back. So maybe we'll change that. We'll look for a young left-back. And let's just get into this first game, shall we? And Dombele's broken down. That is an absolute killer. That means we will not be signing him. That is gutting. That is really gutting. Well, I think we're going to have to scout for another central midfielder because we really need that position. Um, oh, he would have been perfect. That's so annoying. Okay, we're looking for a yeah, still developing central midfielder. I think we'll go for England just because it would be better to sign an English player. So that's annoying. And Dombele was it looked to be exactly the right signing for us, but yeah, it didn't pan out. Okay, so let's take a look at the sides for this game. Oh, God, we just need a win. We really need a win. Now, I mentioned in the last episode the Discord is the place to come and discuss tactics and your ideas, and there's been a lot of them since the last episode, and uh, there's a couple of variations that I might try, but one bit of advice from the guys in the Discord that I'm going to take on board is we've changed from um, overlapping fullbacks, or whatever it's called, attacking fullbacks, to false fullbacks, so it's a little bit similar to our last formation, uh, in that Cobos and Thiago Mendes will sort of come into midfield a little bit more. Um, but hopefully, because you're not setting them as actual central midfielders, they'll actually get back properly, which was the problem. They were leaving too many gaps. Correa, Brunetta in the midfield again. I think we'll stick with that. Although Correa on poor form, I have to take him out. Don't know who we play there, though. That's the problem. This is where we're really missing box-to-box -box midfielder. I mean, what we could probably do today is we'll play Romero there and we're going to play the horse up top. Something for Mina and Zuma to try and deal with. To mean dropping Maxi Romero back there. Um, he's going to be playing as an attacking mid. Maybe not ideal, but we'll give it a go. Uh, Kobos at left back. We could play Mendes there and play Patterson on the right. Not ideal again, but Kobos on a downward arrow. We can't be playing him. Uh, Alvarez in for a downward arrow. Bernardo. Bernardo was pretty poor in the last game. But that gives us a real hit in terms of team spirit. Hmm. Difficult decisions to be made here. Uh, we will again make sure our marking is on. Give Bernardo the job looking after Tosin. Just hopefully he keeps an eye on him. Okay. Let's get into it. So starting this game with the horse, with Maxi, with Brunetta. All on the pitch at Ellen Road. Surely there must be goals in this for Leeds United. We're just not... We just don't seem as fluid. I think that is the problem. It'd be great to have the big old horse up top. Feed the horse will be the advice from Marcelo Bielsa. I'm not really sure about Maxi Romero dropping in as an attacking midfield. Maybe we need to change that to a second striker, actually. Let's see how we get on. Lutman up against his old side today. Obviously, they've got Origi. That was the swap deal that we did. Weg horse away from Zuma. The horse oh, off the post. Patterson in. Romero on the turn. Oh, Romero. Yes. Keeper was actually off the pitch there. We just kept bludgeoning away. And finally, we found a way through. And it is Captain Fantastic. Maxi Romero gets us off the mark here. Weg horse with a good turn and not a bad effort. Just drifting away from the goal. 
Patterson's ball back in, found Romero's first shot, was saved. But the rebound fell very kindly to the Argentinian, who gets us up here early on. Ball into Lutman. Oh, Patterson bombing on. Lifts it up, looking for the horse, the header! <laughs> Feed the horse! Feed the horse! And there'll be sugar lumps <laughs> raining down from the crowd to thank the horse. And it's pretty simple stuff down the wing. Patterson on the overlap, bombing through. Just puts it up. Zuma couldn't stay with him. Mina didn't spot him. And the wake horse heads in off the underside of the bar. And it's the perfect start here for Leeds United. At home at Ellen Road. We've got the crowd now going, which we've struggled with in recent games. Can we go on? And actually win a game. It seems impossible. Oh, that's a good ball through into Sir Gerdson. He plays it wide to Richarlison. Oh, Gomez, you missed him there. Bernardo does well. And the horse, lovely flick back to Brunetta. He'll find the horse again. Woot. Out to Cliver. Can he find the ball into Maxi Romero? Surely. Oh, my God. Oh, it's just working. Something is just working for us today. It's like all of the bad luck we've had in recent games has suddenly just come back in the form of good luck. Because these are the chances that haven't been falling. I mean, Maxi Romero, it's a good first touch. Zuma does well to put him off, but the luck was there. Fell in his lap and he put it away. And suddenly, three goals up in only 11 minutes here. Oh, it's a good ball into Tosun. Oh, shit. Well... Straight away we concede. <laughs> let's not do this. Please, let's not do this. We can't score three goals in the first 11 minutes and then not win, can we? Bernardo, you're meant to be fucking marking him. Tosin, far too easy. Richarlison brings it forward. Ball back to Tosin on the turn. Good block, Bernardo. And Martinez, that's a nice ball out into Lutman. He plays it wide to Cliver. What a ball. Oh, Coleman misjudges it. And Justin Clivert now. With the Dutchman. Weghorst in the box. Well, they're having to get a lot of men back to deal with Weghorst. I do quite like having him as an option as well as Maxi Romero on the pitch at the same time. It's a lot for the opposition to deal with. Weghorst misses that header. Patterson. Strong challenge. Oh my god. That is the sort of luck we've been having recently. Richarlison. Back to Baines. Leighton Baines now. Oh, Richarlison. Ball in. Oh, Bernardo. Well read. He's going to bring it forward now. The big Brazilian at the back. Brunetta, lovely ball out to Mendes. Can he slip it into Cliver? He can. It's a great ball into the Dutchman. He'll bring it forward now. Ball back to the horse. Oh, could fall to Lutman. No, Baines does well. Come on. Let's regain the three goal advantage here. Patterson, that's a good challenge. Now Brunetta sends away from Gay. Lutman. Into the take on Richarlison there, but that's smart. Lutman now ball into the box. The horse. <laughs> We're putting them under so much pressure here. Just over half an hour gone. And it's going to be Brunetta with the outswinger. Mendes is looking for it. Clive can keep it alive. Brunetta now. Into Lutman. Oh, <laughs> so close to scoring against his old side. Patterson in a foot race here with Richarlison, which the Brazilian will win. Can Patterson keep him... Out of danger. Tosin on the turn. Oh, it's another good turn, but that's well wide. No issue. And that's half time here at Ellen Road. Gutted to give away that goal straight away. It's always the case that you're most vulnerable to conceding just after scoring. But we'd scored three, so to then allow them a goal back just to give them a bit of hope was a real error. And that was their only shot on target of the game. We've had 60% possession. This is so much more like it. I almost can't believe this is happening. So let's just concentrate. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's see this one out. Clivert now. Looking for the horse. It's a good ball. Steps inside of Mina. For the fourth. Oh, yes. Feed the horse. Feed the horse. Grabs his second today. There's been a lot of fan pressure to bring him into the side. And to be fair, we only put him in because of injuries and form issues in other areas. But maybe starting Romero and the horse is the way forward. He's looked great today. He's given Mina and Zuma an absolute nightmare. Patterson read that so well, but somehow they get away with it. And now Richarlison. Wide here. Bernardo can't deal with it. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, that was just unlucky. 
Patterson had dealt with that. He'd read that ball really well, but then it just fell back to Richarlison. And uh, again, they've got a goal back. A little too easily for my liking. Let's see this one out. We're going to have to go a bit more defensive now. Brunetta does well. Finds Cliver. Cliver inside to the horse. Can he turn and finish? Yes, it's a hat trick for the horseman. Bojacked horseman. And he's got three today. And surely now Bielsa has to start him. Has to consider him part of the starting 11 when fit and in form. Very simple. Easy turn. Defenders have all gone with Maxi Romero. That's the beauty. We've got two things to think about now up top rather than just the one. It seems to be working. Well, thank the Lord for that. Wow. Starting two strikers today. We score five goals. The maths add up. The maths do really add up there. We needed that so badly. Really needed that. And we dominated them. We did allow them back into it twice, which I'm a little unhappy with. A clean sheet would have been nice, but we can't complain. And the horse in with an 8.5. Real, real selection decisions here for Marcelo Bielsa to make. And as we move into the transfer window, we could well be seeing a few more players coming in. And that lifts us up into 11th spot. Still eight points behind nine plates Southampton. We really need to start catching them up because that's where we need to be. But we can we can make that up and you'd expect them to drop points. Um, the teams above as well, only one or two points ahead of that. So not great. Obviously, we'd rather be much further up at this stage of the season. We're still in the conversation to keep our job, and that's important, very important. Let's take a look at what has been a very, very difficult December, a winter of discontent for Marcelo Bielsa. Well, as you can see, Weghorst coming in there, scoring a hat-trick, takes him to the top of the goal rankings, and that says a lot. In six games, Romero's only scored three, and then Harrison, the next highest scorer, and some very poor average ratings as well. So generally, we've been having more possession on average and taking more shots and more shots on target than our oppositions. We've just not been winning them. That's the problem. Be conceding goals throughout the game. It's been through balls as usual that's caught us out. Not too surprised by that. So Mendes has been involved a lot, interestingly. Uh, Weghorst with a 40% success rate on his shooting. That seems like a very small amount of aerial battles won in general. Seven aerial battles won over six games. That's very low. Very poor. Bernardo has been making challenges at least. And look at that, Brunetta, 68% success rate on dribbling. That is very low for a player we expect more from. It's also at 8% finishing as well. 12 attempted shots in six games, only one goal. So we're into the first day of the transfer window. The new year is upon us. Oh, a lot of the players that we sort of need to keep want contract renewals or aren't too bothered about staying. Um, I don't think we need to let any of them leave, so that shouldn't be a problem. See, we could do with a bit more transfer budget. Salary budget is looking pretty healthy though. Uh, and we can make our first signing straight away. It's gonna be a straight swap with Alvarez, who's not been great, going one way, and for the same amount of money, Lukasen coming in, who's certainly an upgrade. Definitely gonna be our defensive midfielder, great ball winning, pretty quick as well, 81 speed, 85 physical contact. He's a big guy, his stamina only 78, that's quite low, no player skills, but he's a decent passer as well. So it's a no-brainer, he's gonna offer a little bit more solidity, I think, in the middle of the park than Martinez, who will drop out of the side now, I don't know what his future holds possibly leaving the team. So hopefully we can sell Sergio Romero, bring in a new keeper. Hopefully, if we can get 9.7 for him, we can add a little bit of money to our coffers from whatever is left over there. I think we'll try and find a midfielder, um, a box-to-box -box midfielder. We don't really have one at the moment. That is a position that we are lacking. We never really needed them before. And to fund that, well, we can sell Pizarro or we can sell Martinez. He's got an offer in for seven million. A lot, we've got a lot of players we could sell. So I think we're doing okay. Um, we need to hear back from the scout pretty soon. Are there any Argentinian central midfielders who we might have a chance of signing? Let's take a look. Correa, obviously we know all about him. Um, I'm not even really gonna bother trying to sign any players who don't have anything. <laughs> look, Guanca. Okay, so no one available. I'm gonna have to hope that the scout finds us something. Let's keep moving. I mean, at this point in the season, the scout finding us something is key. Without that, I don't think we're going to sign anyone. It's all down to that, really. So Rakitic could be an option. Alvarez leaves as Lukasen replaces him. <sighs> I mean, he wouldn't be the right player and he would be a luxury player. And we'd have to massively smash our salary budget, but we could bring him in. It's a possibility. Don't know if we'd be able to make the 10.8 million we need for him. But in terms of passing, it'd be incredible. He's really not the player we need, though, and he's slow as heck. He's 33 years old. That's 
That's crazy. That's that's dream talk. We don't need him. I'm going to end that right now just so I'm not tempted. Let's keep moving. So it's an away trip to Stoke today. Still nothing from the scouts. We could really do with hearing from them soon. Hopefully a good keeper is going to come in. And really we've got to play the horse, haven't we? I think Brunetta's going to miss out today. Romero back there. So when in possession, I did actually move it so he comes in as a second striker. The horse has to start. No doubt about that. And Lukasen can come in. Defensive midfield. What does that do to our team spirit? Does drop it quite significantly. Oh, that is with Brunetta out of the side as well. Um, I think we'll even in possession, we will have them come in as a defensive mid. We'll try that out. Down to 83 team spirit, not ideal, but he is a destroyer in the centre, and that is what we've needed. Uh, Martinez will drop to the bench. Uh, let's sort out the marking settings. Bernardo can take Juf. Lucasen can try and make sure Shenton doesn't have too much time on the ball. And that should just about do it. Let's get into it. Two wins in a row seemed impossible. But now, after that reinvigorating performance against Everton, game against Stoke surely is within the bounds of possibility to end in a win. There is Lucasen, the new signing. Hopefully he can really shore up that midfield. He's got everything that Pizarro and Martinez has, but... He's a lot bigger, a lot quicker, and not a bad passer as well, so he should be good. Uh, up against the Stoke City side, not exactly full of quality. Juve can be a handful on his day. If Bernardo can shut him down, we can get another win. Mendes into Lutman. He'll drive down this right-hand side. Oh, he's away from Peters. Got two to aim for in the box here. One of them is the horse. The horse coming in at pace. Oh, it's fallen to Correa, though. He'll have a go. It's easily blocked. Ball out to James McLean. Gomez comes across. Strength. And then great composure to take it away from McLean. And find a ball into Lutman. Into Maxi Romero. He's on side. He'll step in. Looks for Correa. This is nice here. Lutman. He's got Cliver in the box. Cliver misses the header. That's unlucky. The horse backing in. Takes it on the chest. Romero can spray it wide now. To Lutman. Holds it up well. Mendes on the overlap. Now Correa. Can he get it back to the horse? Wake horse! Oh, decent effort. Feel like we could have done better though. We worked the overlap really well here. And Correa found himself in a nice bit of space. Just about held off the man. Wake horse. Touch out of his feet. Forced to save. Lucasen bullies the ball back off Shenton. Cliver, first time flick into the horse. Oh, this is neatly worked. Ah, too neatly worked. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, really, really poor half of football, just in general. One shot from Leeds United, but we've kept them at arm's length. And I feel like we're going to get a goal early in the second half. Come on. Oh, Gomez does well. And then Maxi Romero just touches it back into him. Now Romero through the centre. Cliver's made a great run. Can he cut it back here? For Correa. Ooh. <laughs> well, he found him. Difficult chance for Correa, though, but we've won another corner. Lutman, lovely footwork away from Peters. He's got the horse to look for. Martin Zindi doing a good job of dealing with him so far. Correa with an absolutely epic touch there. We'll get it back here. The hour mark is now upon us. We're still knocking at the door here, but we haven't really found a way in yet. Mendes, awful. Oh, Kobos should have got to that. Now Shenton into the box. Steps away. Oh, first real chance of the game there for Stoke. And Shenton puts it just wide. We need to be wary. Oh, no. Berahino is through. No. <sighs> Romero again. Just not quick enough off his line. But Berahino, thankfully, couldn't finish there. We're living on borrowed time if we keep doing this. They've had two big chances in a row. Gomez steps out of the back line, wins that back with confidence. Now he'll drive forward here. Flicked ball into Maxi Romero. Lovely take from him. He'll cut back. Gomez! Oh! And the centre-back <laughs> follows on, keeps running, and gets the finish. An unlikely source for a much, much needed goal here in a game where we were starting just to let Stoke back into it. Hopefully now we've deflated their chances. Joe Gomez driving on. It's not an amazing ball into Maxi Romero, but he continued his run into the box. 
Romero does well. It's on his left foot as well. Bednarak forced into a hasty clearance there. Now Lutman will put a ball in. Oh, we're looking to get the header back there. Correa will pick it up. Sees Cliver in plenty of space. Little ball into the horse. Oh, could have been the finisher there. Really great switch of play. Just couldn't finish it off. Oh, Ince does really well to skip away from Kobos. Oh, could be danger on the break here. Tom Ince powering forward. Kobos gets back, wants revenge, and we've got it. Just over a minute left. We'll uh, make three substitutions just to waste a bit of time. Right, let's just keep the ball. We need two wins in a row so badly at the moment. Down the line, looking for Lookman, who swapped wings. Well, they're standing off him. I suppose we should make a run into the box. Well, we'll let them clear that. There we go. Come on. Get in there. Joe Gomez, the goal scorer. None of the wealth of attacking talent we had on display could do anything. Lukasen had a good debut, I would say. Made some important challenges. Looked to be pretty much in charge of his area of the pitch, which Pizarro at times never quite did. And look at that, 61% possession. Should have really scored more, but we'll take the three points very happily today. Gomez gets mad of the match. Lukasen with a 6.5, pretty decent for defensive mid. Lookman, Weghorst, Cliver, Romero all could have scored, but didn't. But we're fine with that. And there we go. Two wins on the bounce. Thank you very much. And five points now away from ninth. Our slow ascent of the table continues. And the faint whiff of positivity is suddenly in the air in Leeds. And Joe Gomez gets a goal and goes up to 81. And now we need to hear from our scouts. That is going to be the crucial thing for this window. Can they find us anything of interest? Maxi Romero's fighter has leveled up. Bernardo leader found a special talent. We'll just have a quick look before the end of the episode. See if it is something that we need. It's a centre mid. It's De Jong. Interesting. Who is at United at the moment. Great all-rounder. Only 24 years old. Decent. Oh, not too bad defensively. He's a little bit meh. A little bit of an all-rounder. Could get him for a decent price. Let me know what you think in the comments. Still looking for a keeper. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They're not finding us a keeper. And that's what we need. So... Two wins in a row. We didn't see that coming. And it sets us up nicely, hopefully, for the uh, cup game against United in the third round. And then Manchester City in the next episode. Two big games. And then Arsenal, then Spurs. <sighs> Doesn't get any easier, but hopefully now we're going to go in with a little bit more positivity. Slightly change formation. New players in. The Wake Horse becoming a key player now. It's going to be interesting. Join me for that one. I'll see you in a bit.